Welcome back to Black Clover Anime Review, episode number 45. This is our reviewing the 95th episode of the anime, Reincarnation, and the 215 chapter of the manga, Three Problems. They probably should call this episode, The Origin of the Eye of Midnight Center, like, How They Got it Together. Most of this episode, with the exception of the last couple minutes of the episode, is an entire flashback. Yeah, it sort of expands upon stuff, basically shown briefly bits and pieces of it shown previously. We start with seeing the guy who actually, turns out Lasat, the guy who is Lasat is not, not actually him at all. It's another guy who looks like him, who's got his face, but is a completely different person. It's revealed in this episode, the guy's name is Patsy. Yes. We see him, he's basically an old friend of Lasat's. A guy likes hanging out with him a lot. He just comes to a field that he just decides at, the real one, along with some friend of theirs who actually ends up being one of the members of the Eminem and Son. And they're basically just ch just relaxing in the field, talking about various things, relating to humans, and all of a sudden, a human who's basically, you know, whose mind is out of control and performing his tornado. When I saw this girl, I'm like, man, she looks a lot like Noelle. But it has the, the but her, but her voice act, so I have like appearance wise, she looks exactly like Noelle, but voice wise, it's Mimosa. Yes, it's Mimosa's sub actors who actually voices her in the sub. Yeah, and then we see her brother, which I think this guy is supposed to be the first Wizard King. Yeah, I think this guy's supposed to be him, basically, where him and Lasat team up to stop this whirlwind. And we sort of see the start of a blast arm between Lasat and the first Wizard King's sister. And later on, these two have dinner with the rest of the elves and reveal she's actually pregnant. This was actually seen prior. And we see Patsy there witnessing all this. And then, of course, they announce they're getting married. And of course, they have the marriage ceremony. And then right after they got married, they're probably married less than five minutes. And that's when the attack happens. The attack that's seen a couple times in flashbacks. Where you see, this is basically the full attack. It takes up a good almost ten minutes of this episode. Where this light show just just rains down these light swords all over these elves, and Lasat basically the original, the real one, with his with his dead wife in his arms, his dead pregnant wife, who is a human, mind you, and yet all these people were elves. He casts a spell with implied reincarnation, and of course, then, then Patsy wakes up in Nara Man's body. This is later revealed to be William Bonchen's body. And he's got Lasat's face. You see various souls of the, of the dead elves. Now, unknown exactly how much time has passed since that massacre. Yep. The last time I saw a massacre in an anime was actually the Uchiha clan massacre from North or Shippuden. Where they showed the four gory of that. That was a lot more bloodier than this was. Like, yeah. This is tamed compared to what they show in Shippuden. And yet, this is made with the same studio. Yes, the same studio who made Naruto Shippuden made this series, and at least the people who made this saw that. It probably knew people probably knew because they've done Massacre Four in this series, but that was like full on gore with that one. This one was tamed, just light beams. Yes, that this was handled much more better than how they handled the Chain Camp Massacre in Naruto Shippuden in flashbacks. Then. Like, he starts bringing people back. First he, first he apparently, the very last was Violet, basically, still remember the group, versus Vento, which you know who this guy is, and he meets up with Fauna. Oh yeah, and it turns out, though, that Fauna was not only the name of the woman who was the childhood friend of Mars, but also the same elf who knew Lusaf in years before. And not only do these two look exactly alike, he even points out, though, not only, yeah, not only do they look exactly like elf, they the same name. Just by sheer coincidence. So basically, this woman has got the memories of two people who's got the same name and same look. Yep, and then later on, he basically sort of starts... It doesn't show his recruitment of... sort of kind of shows his recruitment of one of the members of the of the, of the Earthling members, and Man Son. And we cut to the to present day, where we see Sally, the Necromancer, and I don't remember who the other guy is, the guy with the eye... I think... The guy with that patch, I think he's Necromancer. And I gotta remember his guy. Guy's name is. Where 
is revealed he actually cast a forbidden spell on a mark on them that they become sacrificed and they sort of die and they turn to souls and that's where reincarnation happens and the episode kind of ends exactly where last week's episode left off where you see you know getting a tattoo on his cheek and his ears 20 pointy yep also this yeah this is a good episode this is actually a really damn good episode and this episode also has a new opening theme. Yeah, after that really good, awesome theme they had before, now it's a bit bit more, let's just say, a bit more depressing, but it's a more interesting theme. I, I, I like the new theme they have for it. The Penny Clover, and this is something unusual, it's focused on Sally. A lot of time focused on Charmy. Charmy's in the Penny Clover, for like, briefly. Mostly it's about Sally playing her name. It's like, oh, here's Sally. It's like, and one, one other part of her name is basically talking about her butt. Yes, her butt. How about rubbing stuff and <laughs> stuff like that. Well, here's something been unexpected for this particular series. I have to basically split this video because dinner is ready. So, I'll be back soon to talk about the new chapter of the manga. Okay? But do you see you next to you. Bye.